What is up guys, Zan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel and boy do I have a treat for you today as we are going to take a defensive formation that honestly is one of the better defenses in the game but it has one shortcoming that a lot of players have said is the reason it is not more meta and we're going to fix it. The Dine Normal is a defense this year that I think does a lot of things very well. It's got disengage base pass rush through the middle when you pinch and crash it down. It's got the double slot blitz meta that you can use similar to what you would find in a dollar defense. It kind of operates a little bit like the 4-3 even 6-1 in that you can run Mabel setups. However, the drawback to this formation that most pro players say makes it a little bit less effective is the inability to run your safeties in outside third adjustments. In fact, this particular defense, if you want to run outside third adjustments, you would have to call the play known as cover three cloud and you would basically have to flip it left or right to get your safeties to rotate to the outside sideline and that's just not very convenient we're going to show you guys how to get three safety adjustments in this defense typically with other defensive formations you would either want a stock defense such as the big nickel over g and you guys can find my entire nickel over g defense on gridiron as well at no additional charge but it has the ability to put your safeties in outside thirds because technically there are three safety stock nickel sets allow you to utilize safety packages such as the free safety one inside that tricks the game into thinking there are three safeties on the field and it gives you those adjustments as well the downside is that dying doesn't have a package such as that to allow you to get three safeties on the field in fact if you take a look everything is basically related to flipping the corners or flipping the up top safeties but not adding a third safety or changing your linebacker there's really nothing to write home about with this but there is a way around it so let's go ahead and lock in here if you guys could do me a favor hit the subscribe button make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you're notified of all the uploads here on the channel and if you guys like this type of tutorial content make sure you guys drop a comment below let me know what you think about it so let's start off with how to make this work what we're actually going to do is use the nickel over you will want to choose a playbook that has both the nickel over and the dime the playbook that i am in is the kansas city chiefs defense for those that are wondering what we're going to do is we are going to sub in the personnel we want to be in our dime on the field but there are a couple rules let's start off with the defensive line on the defensive line you must have defensive ends in the game you need to have two of them so you're going to put a right end in the game and you're going to want to make sure you have a left end in the game your defensive tackles will also need to be defensive tackles you cannot sub in more defensive ends at this position or else you're going to run yourself into some trouble so i'm going to show you guys here that i've got william perry and aaron donald now this is how we're going to turn our nickel package into dime personnel you are going to want to utilize one safety at linebacker and one linebacker at linebacker. If you choose to use this particular package, I would recommend that you have a Lurk Artist linebacker for those of you playing Mutt, as this will allow your linebacker to animate on the field. Then from there, here's what you're gonna want to do. You are going to want to go in and sub in the players that you want to stay on the field because we're going to activate a package so i'm going to sub all my players out and then instantly back in to make this work so here we go i've got all my players on the field where i want them to be remember how i said nickel packages utilize that free safety inside package all that work we have done to sub our players out and then back in will supersede the package trying to sub in new players but the added benefit is that the game still thinks when we activate the free safety one inside package that we have three safeties on the field, even though we really don't. And what we're gonna do is we are going to set audibles for our dime defense. So for me, let's just keep it real simple. Let's set maybe a little cover four quarters, which we'll set up a double Mabel out of. And then let's set up our Tampa two, which we can run our cover three clouds and our safety third adjustments. In terms of our coverage adjustments, we are gonna run match coverage on. We're gonna set 30s for our flats. We're gonna set fives for our curl flats. For those of you that are saying, hey, I don't really get how you're running match and zone drops at the same time, go check out the October 6th vault update on my website, Gridiron Game Plans. From there, we are going to call any play we want in the nickel over does not matter because we're not going to stay in it so now that we've taken the field here you're going to see that we have dime personnel on the field a defensive end 
a defensive tackle, a defensive tackle, and a defensive end. Those are the same four positions that will go into the game in dime normal. Meanwhile, at the linebacker level, we have a true inside linebacker, and we have a coverage-based player, which is a safety, playing the other linebacker position. The difference is that when you go from nickel to dime, you take a linebacker off the field in the favor of a coverage player. So having that coverage player as our second linebacker nickel will allow us to activate dime normal as our formation. So I can now audible. You see that our linebacker, which is actually a safety at linebacker, moves out into the slot. And now we are in dime normal with our personnel on the field. So if you take a look at this, this is basically dime. Four down linemen, one linebacker, two slot corners, two outside corners, and two safeties. Remember, when we came out of the huddle, we had that free safety one inside package activated in our nickel over. This is the package that allows us to change our safeties up top into outside thirds, left or right, deep halves, left or right, middle thirds, mid reads, man coverage, or blitz. When you audible from nickel over into dime, it carries over the safety rules of the previous formation that you had based on the package. So now that I'm in dime, as you can see here, I can pull up my safety adjustments and you see that Ronnie Lott has the ability to be audibled into an outside third. This is so key because now I can set up my own cloud rotations on the fly, roll my coverage this direction, or maybe roll my coverage this direction without having to actually call the cover three cloud and then flip the play before I can make any other adjustments. We can simply get into the dime normal, be able to have the three safety rule adjustments and still be in a spot where we actually can still get pretty good pass rush out of this defense. I'll show you what I mean. One of the really easy ways to generate simple pressure out of dime normal is just to pinch because it pinches your defensive line in super tight. Then just kind of come down here with your user and stand over the guard or the, the center. And you'll notice that if you just crash inside, these guys all kind of pinball and come through the gaps and disengage super fast. Now you're gonna be able to make crazy coverage adjustments behind this, but this is a super easy base pass rush that's gonna allow you to get to the quarterback and really do most of your pre-snap work, making your coverage adjustments. Keep in mind that I said we could audible into quarters. I can now set up maybe a Mabel call. So now in this situation, we've got double Mabel set up and I'm pinching and crashing my line inside. We got to disengage. And now if they want to run their little uh, street corner flat combos, if they're, you know, setting up their bunch and they want to, you know, try to run all these little combos that, you know, sideline floods that we're so used to over the years, we're going to be able to Mabel this and defend it pretty effectively. And they're not going to be able to sling those corner routes into the wide side of the field or the short side of the field. Also, like I said, we could quickly come into Tampa two and set up a, for instance, cover three cloud rotation. Let's go ahead and do just something uh, simple like this. This is cover three cloud, very easy. Or we could go ahead and call a cover three cloud the other direction. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and maybe set up something, you know, hybrid like maybe this. This is a cover three cloud as well, which is the downside to the defense before this tip came out. So as I mentioned, this was a tip that I wanted to put out for Gridiron members in our vault, but within a week of it being out, it already started to appear in other places, which is nothing new. But because we put it out, I wanted to get it to you guys here on the channel. I want to thank you guys so much for all your support this year. You guys have made this season so fun so far. I'm really excited to start unloading the chamber and bring you guys more of my high level defensive content as we're getting into the middle of the season. If you guys are wanting more of this if you guys are wanting blitz setups coverage setups go check out gridiron i've got so much content in the december vault already that can help you guys out i actually did a video on everything you need to know to get more stops in this game regardless truly of whatever defense you want to run you guys can apply so many of these coverage principles and these tricks to help you get more stops and confuse your opponents and get to the quarterback very effectively i am very confident in that go check it out it's 995 for the entire website if you guys are looking for a little bit extra that is and of course you guys subscribe here to the channel i have our next youtube short out this afternoon or you guys can come back tomorrow morning for our next youtube upload until then this is Zan. get the lab in good luck